Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we will understand about the data driven testing and how you can read the data from the external file. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen that you can use DDT module, which is basically data driven test and use this decorator data to provide the set of data that you want to pass in your test case and along with the decorator unpack. So basically what this does is it takes the tuple and and then unpacks that so basically it, un it will unpack and then depending on the values that you pass in this particular tuple that gets allocated to the variable to the parameters that you defined in this particular method right so that we have all understood and it has ran successfully and we have been able to execute the test case twice with these two values now say for example i want to externalize this data right so say for example there are 10 different set of data sets 50 different data sets that i want to pass so it's very in convenient or it's not a good approach to hard code all that data into even if it is coming from the data decorator you can't have the hundreds of data in your test file right so it's always advisable to segregate the data from the test case and that's where we need to externalize the data either either into the json file or yaml or csv file or excel file right so there are n number of possibilities and depending on the nature of your project whichever suits best is what you should be going for right so if excel suits best because you have lots and lots of amount of data go for excel if you can manage with csv um, uh, which is similar you know like to excel go for csv if you have less amount of data that you can manage with yaml or json file and you are expert in that go for json yaml file i'll cover all of that and uh, let's see let's start with the json file so let's go to the documentation of ddt first so here you will see that along with the if i go to the import here we can import ddt data file data as well right so file data is something which which will help us to read the data from the file and let's see what files are being supported so it supports yaml and json files so if we go down here you will see that we we can define our data into the json format or the yaml format okay so the format of json and yaml if you want to read so yaml is basically this is the particular format so you can google through and check the format but it's very simple it starts with the three hyphen and then ends with three dots and within that you can define your data so if i open this particular notepad here this is the data that i have defined in the yaml format and same data with the json format okay so here you will see that this is test one and test two and in the curly braces i am providing the key value pair for the data so going from going to date stops and then similarly for test two and if i have to have multiple test case i can simply just keep replicating that and have all all my test cases into the json or yaml format now if you have like 50 or 100 records then maintaining data in this format might be tricky so you go for csv or excel okay but if you have little amount of data i think this is manageable that you can manage from yaml or x uh, or json so let's see how we can use the data from json first so let me copy this json data here go to pycharm and we have created this test data right folder where all our test data should be placed so i'll simply create a new file not the python file i'll simply create test data and this is my json file right and paste the data there okay so now i have this test data.json file and now i need to read the data that is there in this particular json file from this annotation data right so let's go ahead and see the usage of it so if we go to the usage how we can use it we simply have to first thing we have to in the import we have to import the file data as well right so here we have understood that we have import ddt data unpack we also have to import file underscore data okay so that we can read the data from the external file okay next step let's go to the documentation again in order to read the data from the json format what we can do is you just have to use the decorator file data provide the location of the json file okay and once you do that it will automatically help you to get the data from the json format and substitute in your test case okay so let's go ahead and use this decorator file underscore data and let me comment these out okay so we simply say file 
underscore data and where is our file our file is in this test data folder and test data dot json file now this script test search flights is in test cases right so we are here so we have to go up one level and then we'll be able to access this folder right so where is this file we'll simply need to provide we need to say we need to go up first right so we have to go say dot dot forward slash and then we have to say test data which is the folder right and then the name of the file which we want to read so the name of the file is test data dot json right so that's the only thing that is required to basically read the data from json file okay now let's go to the json file and instead of the values here i will change maybe yeah this is bombay to melbourne and let's say instead of new delhi we'll say Mel melbourne there as well okay so we know that this data is coming from this json file now after that there is there is no other need right so we do not need to use unpack because as you see the example we just need to use this particular annotation and that should be pretty much it unpack is not required in case of reading the data from the json format so let's go ahead and run it and see that everything runs perfectly fine so opening the browser okay so it says the value error test okay so you see that it's the typo the error so test test data so basically yes i missed that test data folder let's run again so you'll see it has selected so I did type Mel there, but it selected Delhi instead of Melbourne. So we'll fix that. But uh, if you would have noticed shortly, very quickly, it has displayed Mel because it sent the keys and then there was some difficulties in selecting the Melbourne location. But that's a smaller issue. The key thing is to understand how you can read the data from the JSON file. So it has read the data, it has selected the stop which is coming from the JSON file and it has executed first test case. Now second test case should start. So it has selected the details now, search flights and this time it should um, select all right so there are no flights so basically yes it will basically fail as the lockdown is going on there are no flights from india to australia obviously so yeah okay so if you see the automation logs right so you'll see that it has these are the logs basically search flights with a two stop and one stop and then if we go to the data here test data dot json this is the you know first stop the test one and test two data that has been actually executed okay so this is basically how you will go ahead and read the data from the json format okay now the next format is the yaml format so say for example i want to read the data from the yaml file instead of the json format so simply we have to use the same annotation and instead of the json format we have to provide the yaml file right so we have to create a yaml file so i'll copy this format here that i've created and in the test data let's create a new file and i'll name it as test yaml dot yaml and paste the data there okay save it and let's try to refer to this data and execute so what we need to do here now is instead of this test data dot json what we have to do is we have to give the name test yml dot yaml okay and let's see if there is anything else in the yaml reference right so we'll see that the file data yeah it requires file data and it needs yaml right so it basically needs yaml so let's see let's try to execute it and see what is the result okay and then we'll try to fix it if there are errors okay because it needs yaml so we'll understand that so that's the only thing we need to do in terms of setup so let's see what other recommendations we are getting okay so it needs yaml right so we have seen that annotation that we need to have the yaml and that's where we have to install the yaml okay so how we can install yaml we can simply say we know that in in order to install any of the module or package we need to say pip install and we'll say py yaml okay and you'll see py yaml has been installed and now once the yaml has been installed we should be able to run our test case perfectly fine and referring the data from the yaml file instead of the json file so opening the browser should select mumbai selected the date should select the stop yeah selected one stop and then verify and close so one of the test case has executed now it should start the second test right you can see that it has started second test case this time it should filter based on two stops it has filtered flights based on two stops and should verify and close right so yeah it has 
verified and closed the execution. So you'll see two of the test cases, test one and test two have been executed and assertion has failed, right? Because the assertion, we know that it's failing because it's not able to find two stops in all the results that it's basically displaying. So that's all about how you can refer your test data from the external file, right? So instead of hard coding this data here in the test case and unpacking it, we can directly refer our test data from the JSON file or the YAML file. The format is very simple for the JSON and YAML file. So you can just refer over the Google or I'll share this code so you can get this JSON and YAML file as well and use this in your test cases. If you require, if you think that this will be sufficient for your data driven test cases, just use JSON or YAML file. In the next tutorial, we will see how you can read the same data from the Excel file. Okay. And how we can create a utility to read the data from the Excel file and use that data. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.